guys welcome back to the channel thanks for stopping by really appreciate it uh, and welcome to my very first beer review the other day was national left-handed day left-handers day and I decided what better way to celebrate than to do my very first beer review with a left-handed beer but first I had to find it so to that end I got in the left-hand side of my car drove down the left-hand side of the road took nothing but left turns got to the beer store went down the left-hand side of the aisle put out my left hand and found a left-handed beer and when I picked it up it was nothing but a pompous ass and that guy is a pompous ass and I thought well it looks interesting the cans kinda neat it's from Great Lakes Brewery uh, here in Ontario and it's a pompous ass pompous ass English ale and it says pompous ass is our version of an English pale ale we use an American ale yeast to brighten up the flavor and add our own contemporary blend of hops to ensure that even the most pompous ale drinker does a double take so it's a pale ale and there it is again so let's just crack this bad boy open notice I'm holding it with my left hand I'm pouring it with my left hand whoa that looks kind of cool it's very amber Have a look at that, folks. How's that look? It's got a good head on it. It's well carbonated. Smell test. Oh yeah, that smells really good. Let's have a taste. Ooh. This is 4.2% alcohol volume, and this is a 473 milliliter can, and I believe it was $3.15 Canadian. It's got a little bit of aftertaste, uh, probably about five or six seconds. You can taste it at the back of your throat, but it is a nice beer. really really nice I think this beer has a Google rating of about 3.2 stars hmm. oh yeah I could pound this back it's Friday night here I've been working all day and it's been a hectic week that's a really good beer folks so if you're looking on the shelves and you see this I highly recommend it I'd probably give it eh, maybe three stars out of five I have had better beers but this is a good beer cheers so what's been going on well we're still in the pandemic even though the numbers around here are low let me know in the comments below um, where you're from and how you're dealing with the pandemic and if it's affecting you or not and if you're safe and sound and well and healthy uh, I'd really like to know how everyone's doing um, we're doing okay here uh, we're close to getting back to school the plans in place uh, although we have uh, two college students and a high school student and my oldest daughter is has graduated university already so um, the colleges are online and the kids can go back to school for high school but my daughter's in grade 11 and we're choosing to keep her home so if you're in a situation where you're sending your kids to school or you're having to make the choice uh, let me know what you think of it and how your school board is planning uh, to send the kids back because we're still a little wary of it 
we're just uh, gonna play it safe and see how things go uh, after they open up and if we're comfortable with it then we'll put her back in the system and uh, she'll integrate back into the classroom but for now we're gonna keep her home so anyways cheers guys so I'm not sure how familiar everyone is with left-handers but I pulled up some statistics statistics um, just to see uh, you know, because I am left-handed, just to see if there was anything interesting uh, about left-handers. And I discovered um, that approximately 15% of all humans on the planet are left-handed. So that's a pretty large number, although there's more right-handed people, obviously. And some people are ambidextrous. If I said that right, they, use, they can use both hands. Men are two times more likely uh, to be left-handed than women and uh, left-handers tend to be more creative and intelligent. They're also at a lower risk of arthritis, um, but that all said, 75% of left-handers uh, have to adjust to right-handed tools because tools just aren't made for left-handed people, um, and scissors especially are hard to handle. They hurt my hand when, they, when I go to cut. And uh, left-handed people uh, tend to live up to nine years less uh, than right-handed people. So I guess my days are numbered. Who knows? But, um, and left-handed people, scarily enough, are more likely to have fatal accidents. And I'm not sure why that is. Maybe left-handed people are more clumsy? Who knows? Anyways, National Left-Handed Day here in Canada, and uh, cheers to all the left-handers out there. Like I said, I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for stopping by the channel. And if you're in the area, in the greater Toronto area, and you see this beer, give it a go. It's really, really good. Take care, guys, and have a great weekend.